Hey, welcome to Monday Morning Pearls. My name is Ken Lundeen, and this edition is brought to you by Span the Chasm. I want to talk to you about something that nobody's talking about today, and that's the role of risk in each and every one of your sales deals. Here's why I want to talk to you about the role of risk in each one of your sales deals. Because there's three particular concepts that are associated with it that I don't think people discuss. First is the role of risk in your prospect's mind increases the deeper you get into a deal. Second is it's the most important topic we can discuss in a deal diagnosis, but it tends to be the least discussed. And the third component is a lack of engagement by your prospect actually indicates that they believe there's more risk in the deal to them than you think there is. All right, first, let's talk about what I mean by the risk increases the longer a deal goes on. What we mean by that is as follows. In your very first discovery call with a prospect, it's all about wants, hopes, desires. Nobody's had to worry about budget or getting somebody to sign it or getting a deal through procurement. The deeper we go into the process, here's what actually happens. The role of risk increases substantially because there's professional, corporate, and personal risk for the people who are sponsoring you to get through the process. What if it doesn't go right? What if your particular champion or economic buyer says, we really want this particular product or service and it goes bad for them? Now, I know you don't think that's a chance, but there's a very real issue in the back of their heads. So we have to understand that the closer we get to a decision being made, there's corporate risk, but more importantly, many times there's personal risk with our particular buyer. Second, I believe it's the most important thing as a sales manager that we can actually discuss with our teams. Because a lot of the times we're not saying, what do we think the, we say, what do we think the risk is to us? We're internally focused. Instead of asking the following question, what does your prospect think the biggest risk of working with your company is? Because that's the question that you need to answer in their mind's eye before you get the deal done. Last, the lack of engagement. You've often heard somebody, we're at the finish line and then they want a reference. Or something happens and you don't get returned phone calls. Or they commit to certain milestones and then they don't meet them. You need to understand that that lack of engagement is actually an indicator that they believe there's more risk in doing this deal than you think there is. And so that's an area where we have to align ourselves with our prospects and we have to have the courage to ask the questions. Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, I often find when this happens that there's some question or some thing I haven't answered. There's some area where you're still kind of holding back and you're a little confused. Because guess what? A confused buyer just simply doesn't buy. All right, so as we finish this up, let's focus on three concepts that can help you with this concept. So first is, what can you do personally to help remove the risk for your prospects? Second, how can you use your company to help remove the risk for them making a deal? And last, how do you use your client base to remove the risk for new clients? Understand risk is increasing throughout the course of a deal and it's up to you to de-risk the deal. Because here's what I can tell you, the majority of the time, the least risky deal is actually the one that gets awarded. Hey, I'm Ken Lundeen and I'm with Span the Chasm. Hook up with us on any of the social media platforms that you can see on the buttons below and on this page. Let us know how we can help you drive sustainable sales growth. Once again, I'm Ken Lundeen and I'm out. <laughs>